Hey dreamers, good day! In this session, let me share some computer power saving tips. The gameplay footage that I have used for this video is from a game called PC Building Simulator. It is a great game for virtually building a PC. If you are a computer enthusiast, then make sure to check it out. If you have seen our previous video regarding how much PC gaming will affect your electric bill, you may now have an idea regarding power consumption when playing PC games. If you haven't watched it yet, please check the description for the link of the video. Tip number 1. Choose an energy efficient hardware. In terms of hardware, don't buy more than anything you need. For example, get a monitor with an adequate size for your job, rather than a bigger one that will not be fully utilized. The bigger the monitor, the more power it consumes. Make sure also to adjust the monitor's brightness to as low as you are comfortable with. Doing so will save power. Next thing is the GPU or graphics card. If you want it to be power efficient, then choose a low profile GPU. Later we will discuss also about the GPU power saving settings. For your chassis setup, don't put too much LED lights and pans. Those pans have motors in them and will make your computer draw more energy. Use a solid state drive as storage. It requires lesser power and at the same time generates less heat. Get a true rated power supply unit. Aside from being safer, durable and reliable, they are also a bit power efficient than generic ones. For your network, choose a wired connection instead of wireless because it requires less power. Tip number 2. Properly configure hardware. Misconfigured hardware will not only waste energy, it will also become inefficient. If you want to save energy, then don't overclock your CPU, GPU, and memory. Overclocking will make them draw more power and generate unnecessary heat. Adjust the GPU settings for it to become power efficient. I have a Gigabyte NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super GPU and it is accompanied by RS Engine software. Check the Aorus adjustments on screen. Personally, I minimize the GPU boost by negative 200 and the power target to just 90%. I normally set the pan to semi-passive, which means that the pan will only activate if the GPU temperature becomes higher than normal. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can also adjust the settings. When gaming, I only set the game graphics to medium or high. I want the FPS to be smooth and stay around 50 to 60 as much as possible. I normally avoid too much eye candies to save power. Here are my NVIDIA settings. Regarding max frame rate settings, make sure to match it with the maximum refresh rate of your monitor or else you might be wasting energy. For example, you might have set the max frame rate to up, which means there is no limit on it. In your game, you might be getting 100 FPS but your monitor refresh rate is just 60 Hz. Then excess FPS is just wasted. Don't forget to shut down your computer when not in use. Make sure to unplug the computer and its peripherals from the wall socket as they tend to consume power even in standby mode. Tip number 3. Fine-tune software settings. If you are using Windows 10 operating system, make sure that you debloat and optimize it so that it will run efficiently and save power. There is a link in the description for a video related to that. Please check it out. In your OS, Please check the startup items and services that runs in the background. Some of the installed programs just sit there draining resources from the system. For Windows, you can use the Task Manager Startup tab to disable some programs running at system start. You can also utilize services.msc to check for services that need to be disabled. There are also hidden startup items in Windows. You can run Task Scheduler to check those items and disable them as needed. Make sure that you close programs that you are not using. By doing so, you'll be saving precious memory and system resources. You can also run PowerCFD, the CPL Windows tool, and configure the power plan. To save power, you can choose between balance or power saver settings. We hope that the computer power saving tips that we shared will help you save energy. Reducing power usage will minimize your electric bill and save you some money. Many thanks for watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell. Bye for now.